Breaking news. Tinubu turned mosque into a campaign ground where he went to worship to woo worshippers into voting for him. Well, the game is on, the battle is fierce, and you'll be shocked what everybody and anyone could do. By the way, in case you're not aware, the former president of Nigeria may be joining the race anytime soon. Yes, you heard me correctly. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. And it's most likely, I did not say he has joined though, that he will be coming out through the All Progressive Congress. Things are in place and then this man may formally be joining and declaring for presidency. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu is one of the serious contenders in that very said election. We also have the person of the vice president. We have the person of, uh, of um, um, former governors, senators, and other members who are intending to join in this all amazing race that will finally be taking place in 2023. Well, the battle is ready, fierce, and ready to begin. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Breaking news, Tinubu turned mosque into a campaign hall, wooing worshippers to vote for him. The national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, attended a Jimat prayer in Abuja today, April the 22nd, 2022. The former governor of Lagos State was seen in the mosque with other Muslim worshippers. Tinubu also met with the leaders of the mosque shortly after the Jimat service. The presidential aspirant was welcomed by the large crowd when he arrived at the mosque. Tinubu used the opportunity to woo the supporters to support his presidential bid and how he will support them if he becomes Nigerian's president. Also, APC women leader from the 6th Zoopolitical Zone paid a courtesy visit to Tinubu at the Abuja residence today. The progressive women declared their support for the presidential bid of the former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Tinubu had earlier visited the former governor of Yobe State, Halaji Ibrahim Gandhi, and his Abu in his Abuja's residence before going to the Jimat prayer, where he would some of the congregation and crowd asking them to support him in every way to become Nigerian's president as he will be a president for all and will support them immensely and will never forget that they stood with him. The former governor has earlier declared his intention to run for Nigerian's presidency under the platform of the All Progressive Congress in 2023. He has been consulting with stakeholders across the country. Can Tinubu become Nigerian's president is a big question on most people's lips as more and more individuals are signifying their interest. And who knows what could potentially happen as we all prepare and look forward to these very sad elections. So these are things right before us. Tinubu was in the mosque and guess what? Right there in the mosque, the, the call was different. The attention was quite different and the, 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 the intention and the play right now, yeah, he went for prayers notwithstanding, but also he turned it into a campaign ground to ask that the people come on board and support him because if he becomes president, he will in turn support them in every way, humanly speaking, possible. So these are some of the things happening. Nigerians are waiting and we're looking forward to that very sad time when we'll become Nigerians president, uh, who will become Nigerians president and how are we going to get out of all this? You know, we are tired of the current predicament. We've come to, you know, we've, we are in now and all we want is, you know, a better life for all. Nigerians have suffered a lot, terribly, a lot beyond we can ever imagine. All because, you know, we made a wrong choice, a wrong turn in 2015, and we don't want to engage in such going forward. 
we want to ensure that, you know, we have the right people in leadership and um, all that has kept us in this cocoon that we've been in some time now come to an end. As we speak, a lot of persons, a lot of people, a lot of things have happened and um, it is high time for us to begin to, you know, reevaluate our perspective and our position in terms of what we believe going forward. So these are some of the things happening. Tinubu was in the mosque today and the focus and attention was that, you know, he becomes Nigerian's president and in fact the whole uh, prayer turned into a campaign ground for Tinubu uh, where he was asking the people that it, they, they need to, you know, pour in their support to enable and to ensure he becomes Nigerian's president because he will in turn support them in no small way. So these are some of the things that have happened today. Uh, we thought to bring you up to speed to understand that politicians are ready to go to any length at any cost to ensure that they get what they desire because whether you like it or not, the race is going to be fierce. Honestly, I can tell you, just to get the ticket, whoever get their party ticket is one step. There's going to be more, okay? Whoever get the party ticket is just one step. There's going to be more falling on from there. You know, so these are some of the things that are going on. Uh, he got to mosque and um, instead of prayers, you know, his personal ambition also came into the whole thing. Saying, guys, so do you realize that I'm going for the presidency? What are you doing about it? What are we going to do? What are you putting in place to ensure that I'm not defeated? It is ours to hold, okay? To have and to hold, yeah? So these are some of the things going on. And uh, we'll keep you up to speed really as the matter unfolds. Ashwa Jamed Bola Tinubu is ready to take the bull by the horn. Uh, is is going out to everyone and anyone, who, you know, who could potentially and possibly bring about, you know, a help or redirection in terms of, um, you know, uh, leadership and you know, assist the nation to become better. But Nigerians have been, you know, in that position where to trust again, it has to be built over time because we've come a long way. You know, a lot of things have happened and we cannot allow such things to continue, you know, in this way. And uh, we cannot allow such. OK, we're going to keep you well informed as more and more, of, you know, of unfolds. You know, it has been long time coming when we're not going to allow, you know, any of this to 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 destroy and to disturb the nation from all speaking the right persons. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye.